Woo! Not what I was expecting. Definitely gonna want to use Ear Pro. Holy shit, that was loud. A lot of people don't know that you can use mini 22 cans with 5.7. Of course, 22 cans are great on 22s. I've got the Walther PPK in 22, which is actually a really good 22 suppressor host. Got a dead air mask. We're gonna shoot this first to see how it sounds. And then I've got the Ruger 5.7 pistol loaded with 5.7. We're gonna shoot it with a suppressor, kind of see what the differences are between the two. So let's give it a whip. pretty quiet. Now, uh, Ruger 5.7 with Supersonic 5.7 and Silencer Co. Sparrow. Holy shit, that is way louder. Woo! Let's see if we can do a little uh, blind taste test when my ears stop ringing. Holy Shit, that was loud. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get three different suppressors, uh, one from Dead Air, one from Silencer Co., and one from Ruger themselves, all made for 22s. We're gonna pop them on the 5.7. I'm gonna use a panel of two of my good friends, Ryan and Brendan, and they're going to try to do a little blind taste test, right? Tell us which one sounds the best. So uh, let me go put my ear protection in and we'll do our trial. We have silencer number one. The guys don't know this, but uh, this is the Ruger Silent SR, or as I like to call it, the Silent Sir. Here we go. Supersonic ammo. Kind of loud, not bad. Ryan, good. What do you guys think? How was that? Yeah, I'll see. I'll be able to make a determination with the other two. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to compare. Okay. It's kind of hard well, to start. Number one. Silencer number two, which is the Silencer Go Sparrow. Guys don't know that. Uh, we're shooting Federal Supersonic 5.7. Louder. Yeah, it was definitely a little louder. Way louder. Way louder. Uh, yeah, that was definitely louder. Silencer number three, dead air mask. Federal Supersonic. This is about the same as the first one? Yeah, comparable to the first one. So the first silencer and the third silencer were comparable. Uh, definitely seemed maybe perhaps even hearing safe. Yeah, I'd probably shoot that without ears for a little bit. I wouldn't do a shoot a whole hundred round box or anything. But yeah, a but you could you could shoot that without without ears uh, comfortably. Uh, the second one uh, had a deeper tone, but a louder crack. Yeah, it definitely seemed like a higher impulse too. Yeah, the ear. it was it was sharper. So number two was definitely the loudest. Yeah, number two was the loudest. Uh, first and third one were comparable, and they were okay. What do you think, James? Um, I've got, I've had Ear Pro on, so it goes quiet every time. So yeah. I can't hear, I yeah. can't tell the difference between any of them. So you guys are my ears. Okay. <laughs> what, right um, now. What, what, what are you doing now? Do? Now we're doing, we're going to go in the same order. Okay. But with so, Subsonic. Okay, gotcha. We're using Vanguard Outfitters for the Subsonic. It's monumental. Their words, not mine. Even though it is pretty good. I'm, I'm not sure it's quite monumental, but you know, it's really good. Five, seven, 55 grain subsonic it's been working really well today so now we have subsonic ammo i didn't even know existed i'm not even sure if it's going to cycle i doubt it let's give it a shot all Here right we go. subsonic ready for it silencer number one yep definitely better yeah first round pop uh but then really nice mellow tone yeah mellow shut up <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> what color was the tone? Purple. What should I say? Alright. Silencer number two. You guys ready for me? Yep. Here come three. 
number two is still definitely loud. Yeah, definitely loud. It didn't even, it didn't like squash that pop either. No. Subsonic with silencer number three. You guys ready? Yep. yep. That's quiet. That's quiet. That's definitely the quietest in the subsonic. Yeah, and it took care of the uh, first round pop. Okay, so, and those were in the same order, so you, it's my understanding then, and you guys explain this to the camera, that one and three for the first test were kind of on par. Yeah, comparable. But and for the second test, two was definitely the worst again. Yeah. yeah. One was good three was probably the best yeah the i'd say yeah okay. three was definitely the best subsonic performance yeah but one and three were comparable on supersonic performance i'm thinking that the first and second can had the first round pop um and the second can had second and third round pop uh but the third one even took care of the third round uh, the first round pop yeah uh and it was like even across the board yeah it was three it was definitely more consistent through all three rounds i'd say compared to the first can all three were quiet and I think it was even just slightly quieter with the subsonic in the first can, even it without was. the first round pop in the first can. Yeah. Do you guys want to know, want me to tell you which one was which? Yeah. yeah. So number one was the Ruger. Number two was the Silencer Co. Number three was the Dead Air Mask. I was figuring number two is the, the nope. Ruger. Nope. That, that surprised me. It apparently performed well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the Dead Air was uh, the best. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's all we needed. All right, so we got three rounds supers, three round subs, and whenever you take it back, you're gonna get three round supers, three round subs as well. So we got alternating in the mag. Are you ready? Go for it. Okay, conclusions that we can draw from this video. Conclusion number one, Silencer Shop kicks ass. Silencer Shop sent in all three of these suppressors. They handpicked them. They sent in the ammo. They sent in the threaded Ruger 5.7 that we use for this test. You can get all three of these cans from Silencer Shop. I don't know why people buy silencers from a place that isn't Silencer Shop just because they make it so easy. They also sponsor the channel, of course, but as you guys know from watching TFB TV, we don't partner with companies that we don't love. And Silencer Shop's one of them. So thank you guys so much for that. Conclusion number two, Subsonic 5.7 ammo exists and it's fucking awesome. Silencer number one with the monumental 55 grain Subsonic. Silencer number two with the monumental subsonic ammo. Silencer number three with subsonic 5.7. I'm actually really surprised that the subsonic cycles. I, I don't know how it does what it does, um, but it, it cycles reliably with these 22 cans and that's pretty impressive. Conclusion number three, these popular 22 suppressors handled 5.7 no problem. Was it as quiet as 22? Absolutely not. But I had no idea before I made this video that you could use a 22 suppressor and it pulled double duty on a 5.7. I think after this video, FN 5.7 caliber guns are going to get a lot more popular because chances are many of you out there watching have 22 cal cans that'll probably work with 5.7. Conclusion number four, don't draw too many conclusions. We had three fantastic 22 suppressors. Some people might be tempted to say, oh, well, according to this test, this test, the dead air was the best and the Ruger was about as good as the dead air and the Silencer Co. wasn't as good as any of those. Not necessarily the case, guys. This was super unscientific. You're talking about three dudes, two of whom may or may not have learning disabilities, all shooting and just using our ears for the sound. While yes, unequivocally, it seemed like the Silencer Co. was the loudest, which is a shame because Silencer Co. makes fantastic products and I love those guys from the bottom. But shooting it on a 5.7, it was not as quiet, at least to the ear, as the other two cans that we use. Could it have been different if we had used something else? 
Absolutely. Just in this specific instance, it seemed like it fell behind the other two. And you know what? I kind of like this test. I'm not a big believer in decibel metering. I feel like it can be misleading and sometimes easily manipulated. I'm more feature driven. I like to know what options it comes with. I like to know what I can mount it on, how tough it is, how versatile it is, how light it is. Those are the kind of things that I look for in a suppressor. Chances are, if you get any of these suppressors, or any 22 suppressor from any reputable manufacturer, it's going to perform within the proximity of its competition. So I like to look more at other things like ease of maintenance, durability, even cost, before I look at, well, exactly how many decibels does this one have? This one is the square root of pi, quieter than that one, according to this paper and this test. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If that's how you like to buy your suppressors, go for it. I'm just saying sometimes it's good to set down the numbers and look at what will really make you happy when you're choosing a suppressor. Conclusion number five, I love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for being a part of TFB TV by watching us. Thank you to our Patreon and Subscribestar supporters, and thank you to sponsors such as Silencer Shop. But again, I can't thank you enough. Take care. Thank you.